Hello there. Welcome to a hardcore world where so far I have survived for one month. Well, it's 33 days here, but close enough. I haven't had time to do a recording till now. Anyway, so far, <coughs> there's really nothing done so far in this world. Um, because I've been playing it really safe, and really, all I really focused on was getting my house built, or at least the majority of it. <coughs> and so... This is the only village I've found so far. A few farmers, and then a librarian who has a mending book, but I do not yet have the resources to acquire said mending book. Uh, but that will uh, be a very vital resource. I'll probably steal that villager and bring him into my own house when I've got the villager part finished. So let us go see my hardcore world, hardcore world house. Uh, I spawned just beyond this ridge over here. Hello. Your, your food. And your food. Thank you. Appreciate ya. <coughs> I spawned like right over here somewhere. Or, let's see. Compass shows I spawned right here. Yeah. Uh, this whole area used to be trees. Uh, they are slowly growing back. Because I took all the trees and made it wood to build my house. And took all the saplings and built more trees. Or planted more trees over here. Um, so yeah. <coughs> it was just kind of this neat little... Not necessarily island, but kind of gaps... I guess uh, simple farm got all these trees planted all these torches you see here will become shroom lights or whatever they're called from the nether but I have yet to venture into the nether and so again playing this world very safe it's hardcore if I die it's done um, so yeah it's just kind of a mix of oak logs uh, oak planks and cobblestone. I'm probably gonna change some of the cobblestone to this deep slate. I, I like I really like kind of that dark contrast um, A lot of this house eventually is going to be covered in vines. I Have not found a jungle biome yet <coughs> And so until I do uh, I will be vineless uh, Just like the internet we are vineless it died um, I'm thinking this layer here will probably be another floor uh, just because I think this will be a nice kind of bedroom area like have the glass overlay here you can kind of see out in the distance see all see everything that I've built uh, got a couple lightning rods because I'd rather not uh, have my house be set aflame we'll go over here Yes, so I have this little bridged area that uh, goes over the river, which is see, seeing this area here. Let's go outside. <coughs> and so I saw this here, like that little island, and then with the rest of the land, and I said, okay, I want my house here. How'd you escape? Uh, I want my house here, is what I was thinking. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, probably some oak trap doors and kind of let them overhang here and then maybe some deep slate vines. Uh, I'm going to try and find some mossy cobblestone. I don't know if that's something that I can get on deep slate, if I can make it mossy, which is why I'm primarily looking for vines. Um... And so... Anyway. Uh, let us go back inside. The only real exploring I've done so far has been underground. I found possibly two mine shafts, but it's probably one. 
and I have yet to go back to the part where I found the second half of the mine shaft. Because there was two j deep ravines, or there was one deep ravine I found, and then I found a ravine over here when I was mining. Anyway, so I have this underground area here. Uh, this... Or this, I don't know. I'm gonna have a storage area. I don't know if I'm gonna put it over here downstairs or over here downstairs, but this way was the way to the mine shaft I found. Uh, all through there. I think I might have overdone it with the torches, but over this way is something that I always do in almost every single world that I've done, and I do a villager area. However, this one is going to be underground. I've not done an underground one yet. Or underwater, I should say. It's going to be two levels. As you can see, I already have the glass kind of set up for the second level there. Uh, for this one, I only put, or I filled the room in with sand and then broke the sand, which got rid of the water. I think for the second level, I'm just going to find a sponge. Uh, the only reason I didn't do that for this first part because I don't want to go into an ocean monument yet. And I don't really want to go into one anytime soon. So the village is going to be much, 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 much later into this world. Uh, probably three or four months after I'm comfortable and get enchantments and am able to better prepare myself for a feat such as an ocean monument. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, I've already got the layers or kind of the outline set up for the uh, second level there. Um, I'll probably need a lot of Fletchers. I I usually try and get a ver very good bow enchantment. I haven't done that yet just because I've just been focused on building my house. Um, now that we've gone a month in, I can kind of start uh, really exploring the world and see what this world has to offer. Uh, I'll be doing a nether portal somewhere in my house. I always make it nearby. Um, and then the first thing I always like to do after uh, going into the nether is I like to build a lodestone. I like to do that. I like to try and at least get three, which is kind of difficult because you need a netherite ingot. But I put one in my house, and then one at the nether, my original nether spawn. And then I'll put one at the end portal when I find it. That way, three compasses, no hassle, don't have to use Eyes of Ender every time, easy to remember. Down here is where I found the first mine shaft. I totally missed that water, and I'm pissed. There we go. Alright, so this somewhere here is the mine shaft. There it is. Oh, shoot. I don't have my shield. I have. I forgot a creeper. A creeper broke my shield. I almost blew up. Uh... Like on day, let's see what day is it now, 33. I almost blew up, I think it was like 29. It was not that long ago. I had a crafting table somewhere over here, I thought. All right, we have this back. So, this, mine, this lovely mine shaft here that I have not really explored yet. Uh, in fact, I don't even know. No, okay, I did loot that chest and I think I broke the spider spawner in here because cave spiders, no, I did not. Well, I'm scared now because those spiders are the bane of my existence. They exist to torture me. Oh, I need these for the nether. I use uh, cobwebs for the nether for MLG landings. Because you don't take damage. Water doesn't work in the nether, so I use these. They do take a second to uh, break down, but I find, I find them to be very useful in the nether. 
Oh, you, oh, you are not a cave spider. That's refreshing. Thank you. I appreciate you not being a cave spider. Uh, but yeah, that is so far one month of survival in a hardcore world. Uh, hope to make this last because I really like the house I've built so far in here. And uh, oh, go away. Uh, I quite like this world and I quite like the house I built and I'm very excited to continue to build it and the way that I've envisioned it. So I will see you again in another month. Thank you all for watching. See you all later. Goodbye.